Hello guys, Dr. Joseph here. Uh, in the last video, we saw how to um, do the basic formatting in Excel. Today, we will see how to do some basic arithmetic uh, calculations uh, with the help of Excel. Before that, let me show you how to uh, rename this sheet one. Just um, right click on that sheet one small menu appears click on that option which says rename now you can press the delete button on the keyboard and then you can give a name so let me give the name as score sheet then when you click outside you can see the sheet name is changed so today i want to add a new sheet so next to this sheet you have a plus symbol when you click left click on that We'll get a new sheet so let me rename it you can right click and then you can uh, click on the option rename or you just double click on this particular uh, um, sheet and uh, now you can edit it so you just press the delete button on the keyboard and then let me give the name as arithmetic um, calci okay so here we go so let me create a small uh, uh, data table for you so that we can you know practice calculating few arithmetic functions so let me add a, col a table of two columns with a couple of numbers so let me give say 20 30 40 50 and then here we have say 30 10 20 say 25 let me add borders to it and select the table go to the uh, home menu click on the borders icon and click on all borders let me align it to the center let me add one more column let me add borders to it and align it to the center okay now here we go so first we'll see how to add two numbers in excel so I want to add the value in cell A1 and uh, excuse me the value in cell B1 um, whenever we are doing some calculations with the help of a formula or a function we need to start with the equal to symbol um, so here I want to calculate uh, the addition of these two numbers and then I want the result on this cell which is C1 so where i want the result there i should enter the formula or the function uh, if you don't um, give the equal to symbol excel will treat it as either a text input or a numeric input uh, the moment we specify uh, when we press the equal to symbol excel understands that you are going to uh, provide a formula or uh, you are going to provide a function in that and excel understands that it needs to calculate something over there so i want to enter a formula here so let me click over there and then you start typing equal to so i want to add these two numbers so let me click on this particular cell which is a1 press the plus button on the keyboard and let me left click on this cell which is b1 and when i press enter you can see that now the calculation has come the result has come as 15 the same thing i can do like this equal to <coughs> 20 plus 30 thank you i will get the same 15 but the problem is if i have to add one more number say 30 plus 30 then i have to once again type it like equal to 30 plus 30 and then i will get, get the result but here since i have inserted a formula so if i want to add two numbers which are uh, 30 and 30 then what I do is I have to change this 20 into 30 and then I get the result suppose if I want to add 50 and 30 I just change this number to 50 and press enter I can, I can get the answer over there so that is the advantage of adding a formula instead of uh, adding it like this so let me delete this okay now we wrote a formula over here which was equal to a1 plus b1 but now what we see is we see only the uh, result we don't see the formula so let me show you let me left click on this particular cell c1 
now we have only the result which is 18 but look at the uh, formula bar over here uh, the same cell in C1 you can see that the formula is appearing over there so suppose if I want to edit the formula I have to go to the formula bar and then there I can edit it uh, so here um, Excel doesn't give you the formula otherwise it will be so confusing so Excel displays only the result over here now the another way to edit the formulas if you double click on the cell C1 now you can see Excel will fetch that formula and display it to you in that particular cell and now we can edit it over here so the way to is if you want to edit the formula you can do that ok let us go to the next row where we have two numbers 30 and 10 now this time I want to do subtraction so any formula we start with equal to let me click on this cell E2 A2 minus B2 press enter you can see I got the answer as 20 same way I don't see the formula here but the formula is available in the formula bar similar to addition I can also do it like this equal to 30 minus 10 that is fine but if I have to um, do subtraction of any other number say 30 minus 15 then I have to do it one more time with equal to 30 minus 15 but now since I have inserted a formula here whatever data I give that data will be taken as input to for the calculation so what I will do is I have to just change this number from 10 to 15 and then I get the result 30 minus 15 ok now we will go to the next calculation which is um, multiplication so here we have two numbers on A1, A3 and B3 so we will as usual we will start the formula with the equal to symbol this time it is 40 multiplied by 20 which is A3 multiplied by B3 press enter and I get the result the last one let us do the division so we will start with equal to A4 divided by B4 and press enter I got, I, I got the result so this is how we you know do um, addition subtraction or uh, multiplication division ok now for um, let me delete this uh, let me show you suppose if there is a series of numbers say like um, let me create a small series of numbers 10 20 and then let me have couple of numbers ok suppose if I want to add all these numbers um, the traditional method is equal to E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E4 plus E5 plus E6 press enter but this is little bit of uh, time consuming in this case what Excel offers us is we can use a function called as sum <coughs> uh, a function is a small you know program which is already written in Excel and stored so what we can use is we can use that function to calculate sum of all these items from E1 to E6 um, then I click on this particular cell we call it as a cell but when I select a group of cells together we call it as either cell array or a cell range so what I will do is I have to add all the values in this range of cells so how do we do that we start with equal to as usual instead of um, you know pressing following the traditional method now I am going to use the function which is sum open bracket any function we use the keyword over there and we start with the open bracket and we end with a uh, you know closed bracket so now once I give sum open bracket you can see here excel is asking for the number series so instead of giving number series what I am going to give is I am going to give the cell range so I have to select all the cells together and then I have to close the bracket press enter I should get the result so how do you do uh, select range of cell you move your mouse on this particular cell which is E1 move it to the center of the cell left click hold your mouse button down keep dragging it down until you select the uh, last cell which is E6 and then close the bracket now you can observe here the range of uh, cell is represented by the first cell name is to the last cell name it means um, the cells from E1 to E6 are selected together now that is highlighted with a blue 
you know rectangle over here so now when i press enter you can see that i got the same answer 210 uh, when i used my traditional method <coughs> so this is how we you know calculate um, um, no, addition for a range of cells using the sum function so let me go back to the score sheet where we'll try to calculate uh, the sum say for example if i have to let me add a, a column over there as say totals total and then let me give a border to it let me center uh, it's already central end okay so i need to sum up the ma uh, marks obtained by the student in, the sub in these two subjects which is max and science so how do you do that the traditional method equal to f3 plus g3 press enter so now i got this so i have to do the same thing for all these five more records which i have over here in order to add in order to get the total marks for these two these five students but there is again a hell lot of process so excel has option that since i have entered the formula here what i can do is i can copy this formula and paste it in all these cells once i paste it um, in excel will compute use that using that formula it will compute the sum for me but then again copying and pasting is too much of clicks but then the more convenient way is you can move your mouse button to the right bottom corner of this cell you can see now the cursor is in a you know plus kind of a symbol but it is uh, in white color when you move this cursor to the right most bottom of that particular cell you can see that that turns into a dark shot plus symbol at that point you just double click now you can see excel automatically copied your formula and it also computed the sum function when you look at this here the formula what i entered was f3 plus g3 when you look at here the formula the excel automatically incremented the formulas f4 plus g4 if it would have been f3 plus g3 still here i would have got the same answer but now what excel has done is excel has automatically incremented the cell address so that now i am um, excel added these two numbers the same way when you look at this particular cell you can see here excel further incremented the cell address by one now it is f5 plus g5 so this is how you copy and paste formulas it's very easy to do it in excel and then you get the result for the entire row so even if you have 100 number of rows or 1000 number of rows or 10,000 number of rows and with a double click you know you can copy the formula and uh, you can get the result but now let me go and let us use the sum function over here to calculate the um and the total marks scored by uh, scored in this subject which is max so in order to do that we start with equal to we use the sum function open bracket so i need to select all the cells together close bracket and then i have to press enter so this is how we you know calculate the sum uh, same thing i explained in this particular sheet as well okay now in excel we have another function called as auto sum so here what did i do i entered i used a function and then i computed sum but there's another function called as auto sum which when we use excel automatically writes the function also for us and then it is very convenient and uh, say for example i want to add all these cells and i want the result here so i make a click on that particular cell and then i go to home menu <coughs> in the ribbon the last option which says editing in that the first button which says auto sum so when i click on that now you can see excel automatically it has written the function for me equal to sum open bracket g3 is to g8 i didn't type that and the moment i click the auto sum um, button automatically excel you know wrote the formula for me what i do is i have to just press the enter button and then i get the result over there so this is how we use the auto sum function um the auto sum function will not work is suppose if you want the same result in this particular cell now i cannot use auto sum to add these values in that case what i will do is i have to use the sum function equal to sum and then open bracket and then i have to 
select the range of cells I have to close it and press enter I get the same result so auto sum will work only when it is I um, know uh, uh, in the same column at the bottom so what it will do is it will add all those cells which has numbers above it suppose if there is a blank cell over here then Excel will not read the um, cell which is above that blank cell it will read from the bottom most till the top most before that in you know blank cell and uh, the same auto sum will also work in the horizontal direction in the row suppose if you want to add um, you know these numbers look at this what excel does so i just click here i just click on auto sum what excel does you see it, it takes all these numbers and it adds it it doesn't understand that it has to add only 80 and 70 it adds everything over there right from class age everything because all are number inputs so excel doesn't understand but what it understands is since i am calling for the auto sum over here it will add all those numbers which are towards its left you can see here we have a text but here i have a number since it is interrupted with the text input excel doesn't go beyond this it uh, stops its selection over here so this is unnecessary so i am deleting it okay um, so next we will see how to calculate the you know average um, age or average uh, of two numbers so um, say for example if I have to calculate you know average of these two marks so let me delete this also okay how do we do that we start with equal to we have a function called as average so we have to type a v e and then you can see here average function appears you just double click on that automatically the bracket opens so now i have to give the range of cells for which i want to compute average so i want to compute average for these two cells so i select that close the button press enter and here we go i get the average so this is how we use the average function which is similar to the sum function similar to our auto sum function we can also make excel to automatically calculate average for us so for example i want to calculate the average of this age groups over here automatically so first i have to click here because i want the result in this particular cell that is e9 and then i go to this same auto sum icon under editing section in home menu but now i don't click on this icon but if you observe next to this button there is a small inverted triangle so now I click on that particular inverted triangle. Now I get a small menu over there where the second option says average. So I'm going to click on that. So left click on that particular cell. Now you can see Excel in automatically it is computing average for me for the range of cell which is above it. This uh, in similar to our auto sum function. So what I do is I have to simply just press the enter button and then I get the average age. So the same thing will also work in the horizontal direction it will compute all the numbers average of all the numbers which is present left of it so these are some of the you know arithmetic functions and uh, statistical functions i wanted to uh, teach you today um, average and uh, sum and also difference multiplication division hope you enjoyed it in the next video we'll see um, doing some of the <coughs> statistical functions uh, and um, we'll see a little bit of advanced calculations in excel thank you so much thank you for watching bye